Welcome back. And uh, yeah, it is a welcome back because uh, yeah, I've been away for a while. Had a little holiday. And uh, yeah, this is something that everybody should do once in a while, especially when you're in an uh, urbanized environment. I also got out of the city of uh, yeah, the urbanized environment. Hashtag the city for a change. And visited the mountains and the forest. To reconnect uh, with uh, nature. Because, uh, yeah. I think uh, that Bjorn guy. Bjorn, that, uh, I think it was Nor he w the Norwegian guy. The, the woodcrafter, the Viking guy on YouTube also mentioned it. The problem with, with living in the city. F in a uh, city or an urbanized environment is, yeah. People tend to forget to reconnect with nature and to, to figure out where the food comes from, etc. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I went back to my... Uh, to the forest, to the mountains. Made, did some hikes, etc. So, uh, yeah. All in all, aside from one uh, exception, it was a little town in, uh, in the country that I visited, in Portugal. It was a great... It was a great, uh, yeah, great holiday. And yeah, especially the north, it's beautiful. Then you should go there if you have, if you, if you want to go there and rent a car, go to the, go to the north. It's beautiful. Close to the Trient uh, in Via de Vela, I think. Or uh, anyway, that surrounds around three hundred uh, kilometers from the, from the border of Spain. But uh, yeah, that's not why we're here. Last time uh, before my. For my holiday, we reviewed uh, Perfect Ten number two, and now, uh, yeah, I thought uh, let's continue this trend. I didn't have the time to put, uh, yeah, there's little uh, posits in it, so uh, yeah, I'm going to do, do it uh, like you usually do. Where, uh, since it's uh, about eight o'clock uh, Central European, t eight o'clock p.m. Central European time, I have to uh, do the day calf, fortunately. But uh, another time, uh, it is uh, fortunately. So uh, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is yeah, for those who are not familiar with it, we're going to split it into uh, like uh, eight, uh, eight, eight parts. Part one is the writer and the team. Part two is the synopsis. Part three is the breakdown. Four is the positives. Five is the negatives. Six final verdict and score. What's next? And uh, yeah, James Ebang. So uh, at the third minute, we're going to uh, who the team is. Perfect 10, issue 3. We'll get to this later. Now I need to get my deck off to the other side. Creator and writer, Dave Brink, Benson Inks. Once again, Paul Rodericks makes a return. Colors, Daniel Rodriguez. Lettering, Joel Saavedra. Hmm. Funny, if you put it. If you put this in katakana, you put this is the sa, this is sa, the, the reverse is sa, and you put and uh, yeah, you put the a with this little uh, line on there, and the uh, the u and the uh, the u, where the that's yeah the u with a uh, with a small uh, e on the. The other side, or E, or I, doesn't matter. Do, do, uh, do, uh, doesn't matter. I'm kind of improvising. So, uh, cover B art is uh, Paul Rodericks and uh, Federico Siok, same guy. B part, as you can see here, I have the, uh, I have the B cover. So, uh, yeah. Back offer, Alan Goldman, Peter Palmiotti, and uh, Federico Sjok once again. And the graphic design is Dave Brink, copy editor Ali Lauderdil, and uh, Gilbert Monsanto for the corner box art. And it's copyright belongs to Dave Brink, 2023, all rights served, and, there are and all the cards are trademarks. I'm just doing this for review purposes and uh, off the job, of course, because on the job's on the job. Off the jobs, off the job. This is off the job, and I don't make any money of this. Just uh, to make it very clear. So we're going to uh, 
right now. In five. To, uh, yeah. To uh, where we left off last time. And, uh, yeah. Obviously here is a broken, is broken heart. It's uh, hard to heal. And, uh, yeah. What happened here is one of the, of the metahumans or the, they got, let's see, let's see, uh, the, the werewolf, one, uh, yeah, the wolf guy got, uh, yeah, or cyberwolf, however you call him, I need to remember that name again, he, uh, he had his powers taken away from him by, uh, his, uh, for his, uh, yeah, mistress, and uh, yeah, now his, his lover doesn't recognize him anymore. And uh, yeah, Crimson, his name's Crimson Wolf, her name is uh, she has another name to it. And uh, yeah, she doesn't like him anymore, she finds it unappealing, and uh, yeah, of course, she's a supernatural being. Yeah, he t tells him that yeah, it shouldn't be ma yeah. In fact, and he's right. It shouldn't matter how you look from the outside. It's what inside that counts. And uh, yeah, pork to loot crimson. Your mutation is what makes you magnificent. It makes you unique. That you're boring. I deserve more than boring, don't I? Okay, this is the moment you should actually. Uh, this is the moment you should actually walk. You should actually uh, yeah. Just uh, pack your bags and go away. Because uh, you deserve better. Because we're in the shit together. Rough uh, makes blind. So uh, yeah. You're not the man I fell in love with. But when the other guy comes back. Let me know. I should. I would have walked. So what happened last time is. They captured uh, 10. And uh, yeah. The whole. Uh, Prime syndicate is. Is. Uh, that are captured and uh, yeah the whole, the whole team of the met of the human part of met humans or the prime syndicate uh, got them uh, out there and uh, here they're here she's captured and uh, yeah operation uh, grabs uh, 10 by her uh, wrist and uh, yeah, the synt yeah, of course, the synthoid. And uh, they're, they're going to dismantle her. And uh, yeah, and get the, get the tracking device out of her system, which is a uh, lethal procedure. And uh, they'll probably end up in her death. And yeah, the guy named Glitch, he hacked into this, into the security of uh, Division M and uh, Got the info we wanted. They wanted, but uh, one of them stop. But uh, their leader, Calamity, stops them. Of course, Calamity has a beautiful body, nice rack, and uh, yeah, I could go on about this design all day. There's something appealing about her, but yeah, you need to. You need to uh, yeah, Glitch tell, tells that they need to move the tracker because yeah, otherwise Division M might come after them, and they already will. Don't worry. And uh, Killshock is uh, w wounded and uh, Traverse uh, is still Traverse to get him out. And here. Oh, yeah, he mentioned hacking to the life set. Uh, he mentioned hacking to the motherboard and she's she's visibly impressed. And she tells him to reprogram him. Flash, back, flash forward to uh, in at the same time. One of the, one of the yeah other uh, meta humans who was captured late during the last time, the last uh, encounter. Is here yeah, and she tells him that yeah, kind of what I expected, kind of could be a potential redemption arc. She thought uh, she w she was do doing the right thing, but she uh, she mentioned that yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't what she wanted, and uh, yeah, she tells and she tells him that uh, yeah, 
They want to know where the citadel is, and uh, yeah, but she tells only Calamity knows the location. And uh, yeah, Max is uh, kind of uh, talking to uh, yeah, how you call him, frontrunner, who uh, tells him that uh, yeah. So yeah, it has to be, if they want to do anything, it has to be now. They're about 100. It's in a conversation with Max. And uh, yeah. She tells him, and he tells him that he has to go. We can't, of course, she's a hero. And we, he tells him that he, they can't abandon her. And uh, he puts his helmet on and he uh, taps to the speed force and goes away. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I want the. Her name's Replic. I think her name's Replicator. Yeah. Replicator went asked if she could go to the bathroom, which uh, of course either happens or not. We don't know. And Smith and here's Smithereens in a. Uh, is in a one-one sparring session with Dilemma, and. Uh, And Diabol and yeah, her name is Di the, the name of uh, Crimson Wolf's uh, girlfriend or ex is uh, Diabolique, and uh, he he keeps he he keeps uh, walking after yeah Wolfsey because why follow me? It's creepy. He just wants to talk to her because yeah we have been together for months and you act like it's it's nothing. You're the re entire reason I even joined Prime Saint. You brought me in. So you think I owe you an apology? I don't. Okay, this is the. Second time, this is the this is strike two. Get the hell out of here! But it probably won't happen. <laughs> this is normally bothering you, di diabolic. Okay. Uh, this kind of dialogue is either something you put in it or not. But Krakatoa, yeah, Krakatoa is kind of uh, asking her if she is bothering if he is bothering her, but. Yeah, I don't know, Normie, I, I personally wouldn't put it into a uh, comic, but I guess here it works because they're meta-humans, but yeah, still, it's kind of, yeah, I see this online all the time already, so it's kind of unnecessary. She, she, I, would, I wouldn't use Normie, I would use a different word, but I digress. And yeah, not the norm creation, you're free to join our, sp our sparing session, show us what you got, and uh, he's like, uh, yeah, the whole of it, and he's right. So uh, next, Ten is still uh, in the custody of uh, of uh, yeah, the Prime Syndicate, and uh, yeah, she is uh, being interrogated by, by uh, Calamity. She's got, and uh, yeah, she thought she they're going to have him back and forth about. She she comes to conclusion she's behind the slaughter, and she thinks that Sinto is. And because of her previous predecessors, I think they've suddenly developed a sense of morality. All of a sudden, you think I'm interested in a lecture about good and bad, especially from one vision M's assassins, or are you ju just itching to kill me as, you, as your programming dictates. And uh, yeah, this goes back and forth. We're not as out of war with Division M as long as we're left alone. There's no reason for anyone to fear us but when provoked. We act swiftly and without mercy. Find your witness that was about self-preservation. It's all it's up to Division M what happens next. So basically using the Magneto argument from if you're not uh, with us, you're against us. So uh, yeah. The management, we're more organized now. It's relevant what you believe in anyway, Sintoid. I don't need to convince you. In a few minutes, you'll be on our side due to the programming. And uh, yeah. And uh, Tyrannosaur has a suggestion. And uh, he tells her to kill him. And uh, yeah, she tells her that this is their home. It's now we made the deal, we get the Sintoid, they get peace. Division M would be p foolish to show up, but if they do, allow them to rescue the assassin and take her back to the power tower. Of course, you'll kill any everyone inside. So, uh, yeah. 
they just want in the end they this uh, yeah they kind of split between yeah they just want to be left alone but uh, yeah Fish M wants uh, wants assassin back and that uh, clashes with their ideal so uh, here we go so this goes in and uh, aberration uh, Also, then how does this thing open? And uh, Sunday 10 somehow uh, crashed against uh, use it as, a, as an uh, evasion tactic and uh, raised the machine. Raised the machine. And uh, clashed against uh, Glitch and uh, makes a run for it. And uh, she makes a and they're going for it. She can't on us to underestimate her aberration. Let's not make the same mistake again. So I just four of you stop standing around like idiots and bring her to me. And currently the chase is on. And uh, respect to her creator. And uh, yeah, Mr. Pratt is currently in uh, trying to get uh, Mr. Pratt. He's trying to get into an, uh, to uh, call his son, Jonathan. Okay, uh, his name was, uh, was, not, was not a superhero. Could be Star or not, or guy. He, uh, and, Ma, and, Ma, and of course, Max, he uh, offers some coffee. They uh, tell him that safeguards on the way. If, the, if what Replica told uh, us it is true, then could be in Supervillain Central right now. I'll be challenged to get her out of there. Maybe you should go home first or get some rest. Home. Where would I go? To the house that I own. There's no wait for me there, but a dozen painful memories. Besides, I'm the only scientist left with knowledge of synthogenetics. Ten needs me. Of course, he's the creator. It's quite special, eh? They are all were, Max. You just refuse to acknowledge it. Then having personality wasn't part of your plan. Neither of yours was it. You needed a new body for Erin, his wife. There was the entire motivation behind the Synthro technology, at least your motivation. And that's true. Why we stop pretending you and I ever had the same intentions, huh? But we did. Helping Aaron was always part of it. I truly wish we could have saved her virtual purpose. program has always been about the same people. It still is. The great chance was developing the process necessary to transfer someone's consciousness into a synthoid body. So I figured that out. But if we got to that point, Virgil, we should not have to place 10 personality with Aaron. She knew a sacrifice was inevitable. A successful outcome depends on it. You're right, I think that's why I never really protest against the synthoids having their memories erased and most suppressed. I suppose I just didn't want to consider them as individuals. I was selfish. But when Erin died, my perspective changed. That's, that's why I the safety protocol when you woke up. 10. Guilt? How is that not selfish? She deserves to be free, Max. Yeah, they want to use her as a weapon. And, uh, virg and his uh, virtual uh, prod. He wants uh, her to uh, be free. To pick her own destiny. And uh, yeah, and yeah, he tells me that uh, Dan's designed to deal with metanormal criminals. She's the perfect game machine, a living weapon, aka Wolverine, Weapon X. As if she has a gun. The safety protocol made sure her emotions were contained. It's not only made her more effective in the field, but most important, it made her obedient, controllable, and that's where it gets. So uh, yeah. All of this, yet you made the decision to activate her without the safety mesh in place. You were lucky she didn't kill you. I had to take that. Ch you had to take that chance. I figured I was going to die anyway when the Prime Syndicate attacked. I still don't know how he's alive. And yet it was clear that, yeah, that they had uh, no intention of leaving her any survivors. Their mission was to destroy the entire project so it couldn't be rebuilt. If I'd woken Ten up with the protocol program, she'd be in mind and strong forever. That isn't right, Max. Once again, the ethical discussion between the uh, killing everyone uh, on the spot without hesitation and uh, having some morals. So what do you do expect to happen next? What if Safeguard managed to retrieve the Synthoids, then what? She'll find herself a house with a picket fence and live for a normal life, pretending to be human. Perhaps she thinks she'll live with you. Though she wants to her. It's her decision to make, not ours. And he's the, and, uh, But uh, yeah, of course, uh, the government has different ideas. And uh, yeah, and he tells them that we can, they can't allow them to reinstall ten. And uh, and yeah, he tells them that uh, yeah, we're, we're 
we're going to sh we're going to find her, trying to find her, get her back, but uh, she didn't behave like a real human being, gave me something to think about. But don't let her pr pretty eyes disguise you. It's always a catch, always. There's a killer inside for her, of course. And uh, meanwhile, at uh, the Citadel, she's uh, then is putting fight with uh, the other meta, the other uh, yeah, meta humans, if you call it. Prime Syndicate. And of course, uh, more of it uh, is running out of ox oxygen. And uh, yeah, of course, they don't run. Nobody runs in her family, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible joke. That's right, fat shaming exists. Damn phobia. Why didn't you do something? You know, I don't do physical alterations, hive mind. And whatever this is, look very much like a you problem. Uh, yeah, great dialogue, but. I want, I want to see more action. But uh, yeah, eventually the tank crashes through the window. Shoots, shoots something, and uh, then uh, comes I breaks through the to to the wall and comes I eye to eye with uh, another guy. Another guy. His name is uh, the last kill. And whilst I, wo I woke up in some underground lab only a few hours ago and. And I've been trying to make sense of that thing. Nothing makes sense. I mean, my sense of myself, my bones, my flesh, my heart, my brain, everything about me is artificial. I just can't grasp it. It's just surreal. There's no one like me left. You people killed them, all of you. And blah, blah. There is all speech. Yeah, he tells him that she tells him that he's fuck that she's fucking lost. And he walks towards him. And uh, yeah. Try to convince her, uh, yeah. It doesn't have to be this way, you can still join her, but uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, this guy, Manu, who's the pet of the big muscle uh, man, is, uh, yeah, definitely wants to kill her, so uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he tells him to sympathize with her. The, archite the architect tells her, his name's the architect, he tells him that he sympathize with her, that uh, yeah, blah blah. A little bit lost. Trying to convince her to, uh, yeah, have a life of peace, join their little uh, club. And tell she found if you want, you have a home. What? And she tell his speech again, that they're murdering again. Cheese of cheese on top, but okay, I digress. It happens. No more running, no more fighting, no brainwashing. Me and her, we don't always see eye to eye, but she respects me, just let me talk to her. Do not belong with three lunatics and I will not be your prisoner. You can take the, your offer and show of it. I'm getting out of here. I fear you're dead. What would it be? You're making a terrible mistake here, Ten, but I'll respect your decision. And the architect uh, closes the wall. Where she comes eye to eye, to eye with the other uh, meta humans and, uh, yeah. There, there's Res, the play doctor, aberration, and uh, some kind of plastic man wannabe. And uh, they're looking for a replica. And uh, yeah. One wakes up. Replica is a weak link. Vision M will have no trouble extracting information. Right now, replica is not your concern. What the hell happened to Glitch? Well, the got what got away, and uh, Tyrannosaur and, and uh, yeah, Calamity tells Calam tells uh, yeah, Tyrannosaur and Mew to stay with Glitch and Kill Shark, and stick together until the assassin is caught, and uh, yeah, Traverse is coming with uh, her. So uh, yeah, back to the fight. Aberration uh, is telling that the that the problem is going to happen, and uh, yeah, I'm to remember thing. And uh, yeah, once in the fight, they go. The fight uh, continues, and uh, he she turns, uh, strips his eyes out, and uh, yeah, I find uh, gets uh, kicked. Kicked the other guy, the plastic man wannabe gets kicked, and uh, yeah, oration. 
gets uh, smacked with uh, power of the hammer. And uh, yeah. Apparently the hammer has power to siphon her energy. So uh, here you go. And Hive Mind sends the bees after her. And apparently they can sting her suit. So uh, he goes after her. After, goes after him. And uh, yeah. The Black Doctor turns uh, Hive Mind pretty sick with uh, Aphilaxis. And uh, yeah. Let's see if you give Hive Mind. I don't want, I'm not entirely sure, I'm not the doctor, but uh, it's, it's powerful again. And uh, yeah, Crimson Wolf makes a way out of it. I never used how big this place actually is, being human size. Unseen glitch. I need him to rebuild me something that activates my powers again. We're the only one, the only one. But I came back to Salt Porcelain. The Bruce Brothers, your entire team, no one returned from the mission but you. I demand an explanation. I feel like a story tone vendetta. They volunteered for a mission, so did I. You didn't. So if you want to point that spear at someone, point at yourself. And play doctor uh, gets stung. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, she fought. And uh, meanwhile, Ten is still fighting the metal humans. And uh, yeah, she she never wanted any of She is, gets pissed at the car. says she never wanted anything this. But in shock. This was never her attention, but in shock she kills uh, Crimson Wolf. Kills Crimson. Kills Crimson Wolf. And uh, yeah, that is a more shock. So over here, uh, the Max meets with the with the government and the president. Brandy is a uh, chubby lady. And the, she demands an explanation for tw 21 civilians being killed. So, yeah. She tells him to uh, kill all of them. Claims he crippled the entire organization. And she doesn't function like that, Mr. President. But you can rest assured that Calamity is our main target right now. And, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Calamity makes a. Uh, his appearance it tells him how exactly you're going to do that, and that's uh, where it ends. Nice back cover, and uh, yeah, that's that's it. To the positives, once again, great, once again, great art, and uh, yeah, basically, Satra is uh, yeah. Pretty good. There's some, uh, yeah. Some uh, in team relationships are fleshed out, some are not. New characters are introduced, and uh, yeah. Of course, it arrives on time. There's some nice artwork there. Already showed it. Where, uh, yeah, Stellar is uh, saving 10. With uh, art by uh, Bob Rodericks and uh, Federico Siok. Arrived on time. There was also an. Uh, PDF coming along before the print was ready, so uh, a choice. Nice cards, I already showed them in the review of uh, Work 10 and issue 2 because I already uh, reviewed that one. Negatives, hmm. yeah, that's has a bit of a slow, st slow start. Sometimes the dialogue, yeah, it's a little too much like internet dialogue, things like Normie, etc. And uh, yeah. If I were Crimson Wolf, I would have walked out right away, but I know, yeah, it's easier said than done when you're in love with someone, so, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's what it is. Still, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I, it could have been, it been done, with the dialogue, some of the dialogue could have been done differently, especially with things like Normie, etc. I would, uh, just got, but yeah, I, on the other hand, since they're mediums, I can't understand, but yeah, it has such a, um, I don't know if this will age well, that's another thing. Also, there's more, there are less, I had a feeling that there was a lot of talking during the fight scenes, and I was like, uh, that's personal preference, less talking, more action, but uh, yeah, that's uh, about it. 
So we're going to, so yeah, without further ado, the final score. It's, uh, yeah, once again, a slow start. But uh, yeah, it's more like, it reads more like an in-between issue between, uh, yeah, let's say, uh, two and uh, three, and three. Two, that's when, where the start slow, but then the, the end was a lot of action. Here it was similar, but uh, yeah. I don't know, I expect it a little, I expect, yeah, I said, there's not a lot of substance that happens, there's a lot of backstory coming along, there's some backstory coming along, it's, it feels like a build up issue for the next, for issue four, and uh, yeah, it's, it's still consistent, but uh, I feel like the first two, like the first two were kind of, yeah, the stronger ones, but uh, yeah, we're going to find out what's going to happen in issue four, they said it's going to be the best uh, yet, but yeah, I think this is an, uh, yeah, seven. I think it's, it's okay. It's not the be it's not the mo the one that will blow you away. If you buy for the art, etc., you're pretty much in the safe zone. But uh, it moves the story forward in a certain way. But uh, I still think that uh, part one and the certain level two were the better ones. But uh, yeah, I, I feel bad for Crimson Wolf. He deserved better, but uh, yeah. I wish that death would have been handled a little bit better, but yeah, did you deserve it? I know. Is what this this um, I give the seven out of ten. It's not uh, the. It's not uh, one that will blow you out of water unless you do it for the art and you say so, but uh, it's still consistent. It moves uh, the story forward. So uh, yeah, props to him, to uh, Dave and his team. So what's going to be next? Here we can, here we can do the, if you are for wake, I don't, I have, now I don't know if I have to be excited about this or not, but we're going to do an uh, honest thoughts next time, but first we're going to do uh, a little unboxing, we're going to put, put uh, yeah, two titans of uh, indie comics of the first, uh, this is 2016 when the crowdfunding uh, yeah, kind of started off. And uh, yeah, the CG crowd started off without my own opinion about. Cyberfrog blood, honey. I don't know if I would have to be excited about this or not, but I digress. By Eden and Sky for Cal Ritter and Somni. Versus Soulfinder Demons Match. By Douglas Ernst, Timothy Lim, Red R. Smith. And as you could see here, it has no uh, iconic comics on it yet. But. There's a review I wrote in, uh, yeah, a printout that I kept in cold storage. So, uh, before we're going to do that, we're going to unbox it. I'm going to unbox uh, these three in another video. So that's what's next. Now, if you liked it, now yeah, that's for that's it for the review. I said it's not a bad issue, but I can't expect to. Feeling that I expect it, it felt more like an yeah, in between issue, and I expect a little bit more fighting and less uh, yeah, dialogue. But uh, I digress. Maybe that happens in the fourth one. But yeah, back to with the shameless e begging. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, this one was a little longer than the previous one. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to. And of course, uh, a little update on the uh, Jarrow Warrior. Jarrow Warrior issue, the first, uh, the first 10, 18 pages of uh, chapter 2 are currently inked. And uh, yeah, soon we'll be uh, calling Amalia for uh, for Ama for the coloring. So uh, yeah, we're getting there. And uh, yeah, I sent some info. I uh, paid some invoices already in advance or planned them. So yeah, but yeah. For, for, for if you want to know what happens before chapter two, because yeah, that's the in facto first chapter. Jar Warrior issue one, Death of the Family is now available as a vertical scrolling web comic on the JarWarrior.com. And, uh, and of course you can go to global comics and uh, yeah if you want to think to yourself hey maybe you want to give this uh, guy uh, put his back for a bit you give this uh, team an, uh, some uh, things to some resource to go on and to for create uh, their dream project there's there's a uh, digital editions available on Gumroad and of course, you can go buy yourself a print-ready PDF on uh, Global Comics, where uh, 
or even have access to it after the may I even if I ever uh, decide to uh, take it from uh, from uh, global comics which I won't do in the near future because it's uh, a good promotional tool and if you think to yourself hey may you want something to hold in your hands I totally get that it's also available as uh, as an uh, in the Franco European format an A4 we get what for uh, yeah physical copy where you get uh, 135 gra grams uh, matte coated uh, interior with an uh, 250 grams matte coated uh, exterior so the cover so uh, yeah that's all it for today folks we're going to be almost uh, reaching the 36 minutes that's some good take off talk to you guys later folks hasta la proxima Johnny. One, two.